Hey folks, welcome back to Finding Truth. Uh, sorry about the delay in getting videos up during this election cycle. I had my computer crash, so I had to save up and buy a new system and get everything set up so that I can do videos, get the programs I need, the um, peripherals I need, camera, microphone, all that stuff set up. So. I just finished that process and I am back folks, I am back. Uh, sorry about not being able to give you guys all the updates that I wanted to during the election cycle. That was uh, really frustrating to me because there was so much that we went through that was extremely interesting and uh, it's kind of hard to go back and go over it all because as soon as we get new news, it's like five minutes and it's old news. <laughs> so. Trying to keep up on all this stuff is extremely difficult um, and not being able to put out those videos kind of screwed me up. So I apologize to you guys. Now, that all being said, if you're new to the channel and you're just checking it out for the first time, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Those two things help me out more than anything you can imagine. Uh, they help get the video in front of new eyes and uh, introduce more people to the channel. So. Thanks again for all your support, guys, and for not leaving the channel when I disappeared for a little while. Um, once again, I do apologize. So let's just see what we got to, for today. Uh, not a whole lot, just just kind of chatting, uh, letting you guys know what I'm seeing and how I feel about where we're at. We've got every media in the world, at least in the United States. If you pay attention to the world, it's not happening other other places. But in the United States, all of the media is screaming and yelling that we have President-elect Joe Biden and that Donald Trump needs to listen to the will of the American people and step down gracefully and quit fighting. Um, <laughs> well, I got news for those people that are out there saying that. They're, that is not the desire of those of us who believe in free and fair elections on both sides. Um, if you honestly believe in free and fair elections, then you, like us, are out there asking for the vote to be ratified honestly um, and for the votes to be checked for whether or not they are valid. Um, there are a lot of issues with the counting of the vote. There are a lot of issues with whistleblowers coming forward and saying, hey, we did this or we were ordered to do that or the, um, the uh, mail system ordered their people to do unsavory things during this election. We also have some questions about the voting machines. We've got this Dominion voting machine. You guys, that, it's not a great name for a voting machine. Dominion. Um, this is owned. I'm going off the top of my head here, so look this up to make sure that I'm being correct here. Um, but this software company, I believe, is owned by both the Pelosi family and the Feinstein family. And yes, that's Nancy Pelosi and Diane Feinstein, uh, both high up Democrats. So there's some questions there. Why would we allow Democrats to write the software that counts the vote or own the software that counts the vote? That seems very, very suspect. And if nothing else, a very poor idea and something that we should go back and look at in the future to see if that's something we want to change. Because in my opinion, it should be. Um, nobody holding office should have any financial stake in businesses that count the vote, period. Um, once again, that's just my personal opinion. That is not law, but it's a suggestion for you uh, senators and uh, representatives that are going into office. Consider putting something like that into law. Uh, I also would love it if some of you would step up and push a term limit law for your own job. Uh, I know that's a tough thing to do, and that's asking a lot. Uh, it's asking you to be 100% honest and faithful to the American people and to put that over your own financial gain. Uh, I know that's a tough thing to ask, but I'm asking it. So consider that, please. Now, as far as all that goes, it's been 
a beautiful day here in the northwest. Uh, we got some nice sun up. It's cold. Uh, we had snow yesterday. We're going to get some more snow tonight. Um, but it is beautiful. Um, feels good. The air is crisp. It smells good. We're past all of the terrible uh, pollution from the forest fires this summer. Um, things are looking beautiful again. So I'm excited about that. I feel really confident moving forward that at the very least we're going to find out what the legitimate legal vote was and in my personal opinion once that is counted uh it will show that donald trump won a second term um whether or not you are happy about that or upset about that it honestly doesn't matter and if he loses in an honest election whether or not i'm happy or upset about that honestly doesn't matter. Um, what matters is that the votes are legally counted and that they are legal votes. Um, if the will of the American people is that we remove Donald Trump and we replace him with Joe Biden, then so be it. But I just do not believe that that is what this election has shown so far. Um, the real problem that we have right now is that there is a large majority of American citizens that do not understand. Maybe they weren't taught in school. Um, I'm not sure what the problem is, but there's a large percentage that just simply do not understand that the media does not call the president. They don't have that ability. Um, they're not the arbiters of what the vote actually is. They're not the arbiters of confirming the vote and telling the electoral college when and how to vote. Um, that's not what they do, guys. So they're really upset right now because people are questioning what their call is. So what? That's our right. We are American citizens. We have a right to know that the vote was held properly counted properly and then ratified properly um and we aren't going to just step down from that legal right because you say oh he won so shut up and sit down it's just not going to happen folks just not so well as far as all that goes um you know that's kind of all i've got to say about the president presidential election at the moment um i think we need to patiently let the system do its its process um, see where the courts end up on this see what evidence turns up and then follow that to the logical conclusion i am super proud of my conservative brothers and sisters out there today uh, i have been for the last week um, no cities are burning no looting going on no violence happening that i've seen um, if it is happening, it's in very small pockets and I'm, I, I would be surprised if it's happening at all because I literally haven't seen a single video and, or even news report. And you can guarantee that that would be front page right now. Um, absolutely front page. I have seen some violence and rioting going on from the left. Not, not super surprising, but they think they won. So what are they rioting? What are they fighting about? Um, why are they angry? This is getting really interesting, folks, and it's going to be extremely eye-opening because what we're hearing from the left right now is, hey, this is a time for us to come together. This is a time for us to return to normalcy and show some bipartisanship and that we're all American brothers and sisters and that we can't forget that. That, it, it's true, it's factual. It's very hard coming from people who absolutely ignored all those same facts for the last four years. Uh, called us names, uh, ridiculed us, attacked us publicly, uh, ran our names through the mud in order to try to intimidate us. Um, doesn't make me want to just sit down and shake your hand. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, now, I, once again, there's no, never a need for violence, ever. Never a need, um, except for in self-defense. So unless you are defending your life or someone else's life, um, there's just not a need for violence. Um, 
you know, we have the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, and we can defend that by any means necessary. But beyond defending that, uh, legitimately defending that, we don't have a right to violence. So let's let's stay calm, uh, regardless of the outcome. I believe it's going to be great for us, but. Even if it's not, even if it's the worst outcome we could possibly imagine and the Senate flips and the president flips and the House remains the same and we're in for a heck of a terrible ride, uh, just put on your, you know, put on your smile. Uh, Don't give in. Don't give up. Don't allow your rights to be stepped on. But put on your smile and realize it's a four-year election. They can do a lot of damage if they've got that power during that four-year election. We may have a very hard time getting back into power. But, uh, you know, keep the faith. Keep the faith. We know who wins in the end. So enjoy the show uh, and stay strong. Uh, To each and every single one of you, I thank you guys for watching these videos that I put out. Um, I thank you guys for being there and being strong. I thank all you guys that are from overseas that just watch to see what's happening over here. Um, we love you guys too, uh, no matter where you're from. We, even if you're from an area whose government that we do not appreciate, it doesn't reflect on you, it reflects on your government. So we really appreciate you guys as well. And we are fighting for a free America and for that to become a free world. So. Uh, I really feel like we're fighting for more than just ourselves. We're fighting for those of you that uh, literally can't stand up and fight for yourselves because your governments uh, are dictatorial, are fascist, um, won't allow you to have free speech. Um, You know, if we can maintain the Trump presidency through this election, then rest assured we're still fighting for you as well. Um, And if we can't, then... We're kind of in a spot where we're fighting for ourselves for four years. Um, I don't know that there's much we can do to help you. So so pray that uh, we're able to stop the steal here in the United States, uh, put the proper president into power, and continue with this non-aggressive, non-war starting uh, policy that has been going for the last four years. You know, if we lose it, then that goes away, and I think we'll go right back to the uh, imperial-style actions that were going on under the Barack Obama administration. That scares me to no end. Um, I don't want to see loss of life around the world for any reason. Um, And it's terrifying when it's happening because of my own government. Uh, That was extremely frustrating during the eight years watching drone strikes, uh, and even the eight years previous to that, watching drone strikes, uh, taking out weddings to get one person, Um, watching drone strikes hit American citizens that were overseas that had not had a trial. Uh, That's execution of American citizens. Uh, It's illegal, 100%. Um, You know, the, the... Dropping up bombs on weddings, that's also internationally illegal. So, you know, we got some things to answer for here in the U.S., and I'm not uh, not discounting any of that. Uh, we, we've had some leadership in the past that needs to answer for their crimes, and I'm praying. I am praying that that happens. So God bless and stay strong, everybody. Don't give up, uh, and don't let them tell you what the results are until the results are actually finalized. So have a great day, guys. Everybody stay safe. Bye-bye.